Hello and welcome to this video. My idea for this, uh, for a new topic was that when I have no art supplies, when I have no pen, no paper, no ink, what would I buy? So, and here we have the paper, we have the ink, we have the right drawing nibs, a bigger brush for the background or the basics, the, the, the base ground and one finer brush and of course one holder for the these nibs. These uh, nibs are so uh, variable and so flexible uh, to use uh, for thicker lines, for thinner lines, for these splatters and, and, and some effect uh, or for these ink drawings. And so I would buy these when I have really nothing I would start with this and of course with an ink. This is from Aurora and Klingner and uh, it's also a very high quality ink but uh, not that expensive. I show you the, the details and of course the drawing example of each of these art supplies. First of all, why are you? I bought uh, ink and with his flexible steel nibs because I say that I want to draw things like this, like I always draw um, the cityscapes you maybe know and uh, also things like that. So there is the Deloitte ink, there are all these finer and thicker lines with the shadows. These are some parts of uh, Krakow the church parts of the the marketplace so normally i use honeymoon but the watercolor 100 percent cotton paper with 300 uh, gram and but in this case this is a little um, cheaper a little bit cheaper one with 25 sheets in a nice format so i can use half the size and it's uh, still about a4 this is 30 by 40 or here in inch 11.8 to 15.7 inch and I like to use watercolor even when I'm not uh, coloring with watercolor because of this uh, a little bit rough surface and there is the, the line work a little bit more specialized I would say. And here we have the nib holder. This is the cheapest I found and he, you can uh, load it with two different nibs. When you order these um, nibs online, you also can get it with 15 or 13 pieces in one bag. So then they are of course uh, cheaper. Here we have uh, this with 15, with a pack of 15, or also this one. Then here are uh, also very elastic but not as elastic as uh, that yeah and here is the pack of 15 where i bought these of three and you can buy this and they are much cheaper of course so and then we put it in a nip hole in this nip holder yeah and we are ready to go and then i like to i love to dilute the ink and uh, so that I have different gray tones and therefore these are very nice tips here this is very precise very nice and they are also not that expensive so this is I don't know maybe a no name brand and this is from Sino Art this is a goat hair so for the larger for maybe only to wet the paper or for larger errors. So now let's draw something so that you can see what you can do with this really small, small package. This is the starting set when I want to do to work with dip pens to dip it into the ink. So they call tip steel pens. This is this video and the next videos I show you the uh, maybe starter kit for fountain pens and also what I like to 
draw uh, these days liquid car charcoal, liquid charcoal and uh, ink in combination. Okay, let's start drawing with this ink and pen. I always recommend to put this in a other bigger mug or jar so that it doesn't flip over and some colleagues always recommend to clean uh, the, the nip before the first use because there is some protecting oil on it but honestly I never done this in a special way I just use it out of the box and that's it so let's start here and as I want to show you the line variations the, uh, that are possible we can start with um, let's say street lamp And here you can do these against the normal uh, direction, so against this, and then you get this sparkling, this splashes effect. And we can add some shadows here. So you see this is a nice deep black. And then for the maybe larger errors, we take our brush and then we fill this here. So in this case, the ink was still wet, so it mixed with the water and so it gets darker. House or hut here in the background. See this nice exact line. So maybe here are two floors. Then we add some shadows under the roof. But there I wait till this is uh, dry. And you also can add some nice gradient with this texture. And the windows, the the top is so behind the roof, let's say. When you lose a hair, your brush is losing a hair. Don't try to uh, fix this, uh, wait till it's completely dry and then you can remove it and nothing happened. So now we can we can do the, the roof. Even this is not a very thin brush, you can paint very exactly along the lines and now the very important so that we get nice black contrasts with black parts of the window. And the shadow still till the, or in time when this is uh, still wet, I want to add the shadow here under the roof. Now the windows are gone. Ah, okay, <laughs> this was too much ink, but wait. Okay, more. And then we recover it. So this was definitely too wet, the ink. But this is okay. In, uh, in this uh, case, we have a more uh, sketchy, more loose drawing. Another important point is 
after drawing to remove this to remove this nib and clean it because when you leave the nib in the holder without cleaning it then the ink gets dry and you never can remove it you will destroy it believe me when it's really much ink in it and it's dry and it's uh, like stone so in this uh, case i destroyed many of my nip holders and the next element could be a tree behind this and this is just very easy just do some short around it around it uh, uh, lines and the shape is like this normal common trees let's say and this height and then there in the middle we have this trunk and this is a thinner one maybe one of these branches here and the the bottom is more dark than the crown top of the tree so add the shadows here see it's very loose it's everybody can do this i think and then we add some gray shadows as well you can also do a line work for shading here yeah and then we have a nice little scene with uh ink a nip a nip holder and of course paper you also can use this wet ink and only with water and uh, with a wet brush and then we take the ink which is still wet because this ink is when it's dry and it's waterproof but when it's wet you can use this for some gray tones and with the dry brush, as you've seen here, you can lift up the ink, like in watercolor. That's it for this uh, video. I hope you enjoyed it and you have learned something or you can, um, it was helpful for you. Hope to see you next time. Bye. But I have to finish this. Okay, enough space for a big drawing.